Hi, Amanda Armstrong. Welcome to the back office. I have prepared the bag this time. This is a eBay purchase from Tesco's outlet. So I thought, let's try Tesco's outlet on something a bit technical. It is a sort of refurbished, refurbished, remanufactured, remanufactured, returned, however you want to call it, type product. And uh, Dab Radio, 10 preset stations with FM receiver. Ooh, I could hardly resist. To be honest, it was about, I think, £13? Definitely under the £15 mark. So I'm a sucker for that because I still use my original Pure Evoke a lot of the time in a sort of Robert. So more Dab Radios, please. You can never have too many. Quite a decent looking manual actually for this. So this is the Tesco Basics. I'm not sure exactly which version. Let's have a look underneath. DR1403B, this first one. And I suspect they're all the same. It's probably just a different style of grill, or different colors, something like that. Oh, blue, red, green, <gasps> terracotta. No, terracotta sounds a lot like red. Turquoise and turquoise blue. Yeah. So, uh, instructions, but who cares about those? Let's just rip straight in. So someone's bought this and then somebody said, no, nah, I don't like it, take it back. But yeah, it looks pretty good. It seems pretty damn new, actually. Look, I've got my new camera set up now so I could do super zoom effects. Look at that. It does take a little bit of what time, though, to uh, focus, but that is insanely close. So stay tuned to see some of my close, close work in the future. But let's, let's be a little less extreme, extreme close up. Box. Hopefully the power supply still taped, so I don't really know if they've uh, supplied with a new power supply or if they just open it and have a look. Doesn't look like any indication of any old tape on there, so it's an interesting thing. <gasps> nice! Look at that! Actual colour coded. Not going to complain about that, sir. No, sir. Cable tight. That's a, that's a kind of sexy blue. It's really quite a fat wire, too. I'm going to plug this in. Seems okay. Not massively good quality, but how good a quality do you need, really? It's just going to sit in there forever and ever and ever. The radio itself appears, though, to be able to take batteries. Should be good. In the olden days, Dab Radio used to eat loads of batteries, so no idea how long it's going to last on those, but four AAs are pretty, pretty easy to find. In fact, does it even say what it is? Mm -hmm. Nope, it only says it's got a one amp power supply if you use this. So plug that in. Right. On. Scanning. Ah. Mm. It'd be interesting to see if it finds any radio stations here. Oh, it did find a few, even with the antenna, just moderately, moderately uh, extracted. I've only got it about sort of 12 inches long. It's all right for some, though. It's not what you do with it, eh? Come on, come on, keep scanning. 32, it's found a lot there. So the volume knob is a sort of infinite volume knob. You can see it going round and round. Whoa! So I'll just turn the volume down. Yeah. I'm going to make the uh, antenna that a little bit longer. Virgin. Not quite sure how you actually select those. Preset. So far, so bad, eh? Oh, there okay. you Sounds okay, it's just a bit, uh, obviously, digitally. I've not got a good signal on there, but... Good, but that actually works. But look, the screen, I'll just tell you now, the screen is actually gorgeous. A really good colour, nice and bright, matches the same radio itself. Look at that snug very small we're in uh, i'm in the back office so i don't have a particularly great uh dab reception here i actually have a few pure evokes and things and they don't really work very well so i'm gonna have to take this to another part of the house so uh let me go do that and i'll uh jump cut meet you back here i'm back yeah it works fine in terms of picking up a signal that's fine but it is a little bit buzzy look when i turn it right up the complaint and the complaint is badly handled they'll take up their business and go elsewhere and they'll vote with their feet they'll vote with their feet so i would think there could be a little bit of a modification to be done to this in fact is it easy to do yes it is let's have a look inside let's get the blue bag i'm going to use this blue bag as a map because it's a very sort of weird 
rubbery dead skin type surface. You know the kind I mean where it's a little bit rubbery. Let's have a quick look. Ah, here we go. I suspect that's probably the reason this was returned, to be honest. There's probably just not enough glue on uh, <laughs> Mystic Screw. There's probably not enough glue on the speaker. It's just that little bit buzzy. Ugh. And I'd be a bit disappointed because I, I kind of like listening to the news, Radio 4 and things, so it's going to grow tiring listening to that. Another screw in here. Yeah. So far, so good. Let's see if we can get these screws out before I lose them. They seem to be attracted to the magnet pretty well. Well, I have to say though, this is a is rather good bargain. I mean, even with the sort of itchy, scratchy sort of sound, as a little bedside radio, I don't think you can really go wrong with this. And the reason I say that is, how loud do you really keep your bedside radio? Not very. To listen to a bit of news first thing in the morning. You're not buying this for hi-fi sort of listening to your sort of record collection. One, two, three, five. One more left. Do you call them records now? Vinyl, I think. Vinyl would be a far hipper way to refer to those. Right, here we go. I'm going to leave that straight because I think it might... Oh, no, it comes with it. Oh, yeah, be careful. Oh, nice. Very nice indeed. This is a very nicely made little gadget. Look at that. This is almost a proper teardown, proper teardown fodder right here. Look at the screen module. It's self-contained with a proper ribbon connector. Brilliant, look at that. So station minus, station plus, preset, menu, dab FM and standby. So yeah, properly standardized main, main unit here. 549601, I wonder who makes that. Doesn't quite say, look, it's even marked on the back. Mm, SEA, SCL. So you could actually, uh, this is a digital screen. So yeah, they, that's those are the actual uh, digital connections for the actual panel itself. And then the buttons, the buttons, I don't see them. They, they probably are multiplexed actually on that digital line. So groovy, everything to do that is in the screen bit itself. I can see a module connected there. That will probably be the receiver module. In fact, it is because, yes, we found a problem and we can fix it. Where's my tweezers? This is the problem. I'm pretty sure we didn't just do this, but look. There you go. The ground plane of the antenna isn't connected. De -de -de -de. That will improve our reception incredibly. Excellent, so we can fix that. So perhaps that's why it wasn't so good picking up in here. Module itself though, let's see what we can find on that. Can we get a bit of a zoom? Yes, we can. Crikey, that's some zoom. Really forgot this lens allowed me to do that. I wish I was using it more. Frontier Silicon. It looks like an X1N03. Can't quite read the uh, what's on that thing. Let's have a look underneath there. There you go. 24 megahertz crystal. B1441 something or another connected quite close to here. So yeah, this is just going to be a self-contained uh, DAB reception module. And then the rest on the back is just going to be crude amplifier. In fact, you can see it is it is just an amplifier driving straight to the speakers, but also fetching its power in an earphone from the back. I'm just going to have a quick look here to see if the USB appears to be connected. No, I know you can't quite see. So I, did, I forgot I was zoomed in there, to be honest with you. The USB data lines aren't actually hooked up, so it purely is power from the USB. There's quite a lot of wires, though, for the rest, isn't there, for just the earphones. I don't know why there's so many wires necessary. So that's a bit weird, isn't it? Normally I only need three, unless one, two, three, four, five, six. So yeah, maybe it's three and an additional ground for noise. Who knows? Doesn't really matter. So that's the speaker, though, that we're saying is a bit little bit rattly. Just, just I'm just giving it a little bit of a wiggle. I can see it is actually bonded in and glued, so maybe it's just a, kind of a bit of a crappy speaker. But while I'm here, I'm just going to tighten up, whilst also putting on my solder iron, tighten up these two screws, just holding it down, just, just to make sure there's just not rattling on the screws themselves. In fact, that one was a little bit loose, so could just be that fitting rattling. 
Now is a good time actually just to go through, make sure everything's nice and tight. We could put the screen module back in, but I'm just going to wait till I get this wire soldered back down because it looks like it's going to be a pain. In fact, I might just have to desolder these two just to be able to strip that one. I can't really strip it in place. And it's a good chance of causing some damage. So I've got my special Kynar wire strippers. So I shouldn't be using these for this, but I'm going to be very gentle because. Uh, is once you ruin these you'll never be able to use them for kynar again because you're stripping kynar you need it to be tiny you can barely probably see the hole in there in fact i don't think you can the human eye let's get in there done so we want to strip his friend Say hello to my little friend. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty damn good. We got it. We got it in one. Let's apply a little solder to the PCB. Took a little bit more heating up than I'd have expected, but then that's the big ground plane, so it will take a while. I'm going to solder the signal line in first. Probably the easiest, and now solder the ground plane. Ah, it's so hot. I can feel the heat radiating, cooking my finger. Still, I think that's it. Done. Jobs are good, and so we can just worry about now packing it all back in. I think this must be like that. I just noticed an interesting feature on the ground plane. I'll show you that once I get this screen in. If I forget, shout at me through the screen and I'll remember. Hey, I heard you. There you go. Look, this is the ground plane here. Just some copper tape stuck over the back. Nice and simple does the job. It really doesn't have to be any more complicated than that. Pop that on. Yep. All went on nicely as expected, nothing. No hidden surprises basically. Pop that in. Pop that in. Pop. Oh. So I'll be quite pleased now if this is much more sensitive because I've uh, back in the day when I got my first radio which was a pure evoke and the you know, little one in the wooden box and you can still find them in the shops and they're still quite expensive actually i was living in uh, wales in terrace house and uh, i couldn't get a signal i couldn't get reception it was the early days of dab and after having two sort of scion wave scepters that didn't really work well i decided to spend the money on a, an actual standalone radio and that didn't work very well because no enough signal so i actually built a dab band radio using the sort of copper microbore pipe and a program that calculates the spacing between them and the lengths and the waveguide and all that stuff based on the frequencies you're interested in, interested in and then I sort of got it from basically zero signal through to base maximum maximum signal so I'm very pleased with that so I'm going to put the antenna back up let's pop this on come on then radio for connecting you're not getting any money that needs clawing back there. but what it does mean is you get the credits not, not as good a signal as I'd have hoped in the uh, recording you just did she's okay because in terms of national insurance credits because she was originally in the system yeah don't know don't know where the buzzing's coming from probably the little feats I'll have to work that out but that's it basically there is your Tesco's dab radio grade a refurbished unit yeah i'm pleased i'm pleased bedside radio it's going to be fine pop it in the kids room they'll get on with that listen to their whatever it is they listen to probably radio 4 i should imagine like me and uh what more do you want portable little radio fm as well not even going to try fm you'll probably turn in that off soon hope that's been of some use to you if you've got one of these is it doing the same thing is it a bit uh, buzzy have you tried changing the speaker? 
perhaps you've uh, re-caused one of these. I mean, I can imagine using this DAB radio innards in something else. If you've done that, please let me know. That could be a fun project. Please uh, like and subscribe if you're that way inclined. And as ever, thank you for watching. Actually, it's pretty good. Uh, I discovered the issue, it's just down to signal error. I get a lot of errors here because I don't get good signal. But yeah, take this out, pump it up loud. Pretty damn good. I'm really impressed. Bye.